Hi, this is Denise Wakeman, founder of the Blog Squad. You can find me at denisewakeman.com. This is an overview of how to use Audio Acrobat to create and host your podcasts. One of the reasons that I really like Audio Acrobat is that not only can I uh, create a podcast and host my podcast here, but it's also where I host all my audio files so that I can create players which I can post uh, and uh, put on web pages so that my students and customers can either download or listen to audio streaming. You can also use it for video and I do have a video podcast and what we're going to go over here today is how to set up your podcast and then how to add a media file whether it's audio or video doesn't really matter. So the first thing you need to do is actually create the podcast and the podcast is where you then upload episodes. So you go to the podcast tab you'll see I have three podcasts that I had set up previously but I'm going to set up uh, go through the test to create a new podcast. So the first thing is you need to name it and this first field is really critical because this is these are the words that are going to create the URL for your podcast feed. So you want to think about keywords and also that it actually makes sense for um, around the title. Make it connect with the title of your podcast. So I will just say my test podcast. Then you want to actually name your podcast and these are things that you should have sh thought about before you get to this step. You know, you want to know what's the name of your podcast, what's it about because you're going to need that that information. So this is I'll just do this test podcast. So this is a demo to set up a podcast on audio. Acrobat. Okay. Now the next uh, part of this is artwork. Now you don't need to have artwork, uh, but if this is something that you're going to promote for your business, then I would suggest having a designer, or you, if you're a designer, to create a piece of artwork because this will be something that you can upload to not only your own site but to iTunes and it's obviously makes a little bit stronger impression if you have a piece of artwork and just follow the, the directions here of the size. Not critical at this point though. Uh, don't worry about this mobile podcast that's for if you're calling in from a telephone but the next information you want to set up is the miscellaneous information. So this is where you would put your website information because this is where people will be directed back. So you'll either want to put your website or your blog. If you have copyright information, you want to say, you know, all, you know, copyright 2010, all rights reserved. You want to make sure you do that. Uh, put in your name as the editor and if you have a uh, an email address that you would want to send people to. You're going to see my bad typing here. And um, you can determine how many episodes are shown when somebody subscribes to your to your podcast. And so if you only want them to see 10 or 25 or all of them. I want them to see all of them. I don't want to limit how many peop how many people can see. Uh, for media RSS, you want to check this off because what that does is it configures the podcast feed, make sure it's readable in any format. And then finally, syndication. Of course you want your podcast syndicated, so you want to click this off. Yes, syndicate my podcast. Only if it were to be private, then you would select no. And then you can ignore this podcast redirection and just click save changes. Okay, so it's going to show you everything that you had set up. You now have, whoops, forgot about this, sorry. You need to select a genre. So select that, the language, okay, see, I made a mistake. Can't skip that. <laughs> Save changes. 
Okay, so now my test podcast is here. Now I want to click on this and fill out a little bit more information because I want to um, set it up for iTunes. Now you can see here the podcast feed. You'll see m the end here says my test podcast.xml. This is your now this is the URL that you'll submit to podcast directories. Important. This important important URL. This is what you're going to submit. Okay, so I want to make sure that this is going to go to iTunes. So you would select here um, iTunes activa activation. If you don't want iTunes to see this podcast, then of course you would select block this podcast. But no reason to do that here because you want it to get as wide a reach as possible. Owner information. Of course, that's probably the same information you put in before, but you got to do it again. A summary. So this is what you want to enter in the description of your podcast because this is what will show up on iTunes. If you have a subtitle, you can go you can put in your subtitle of the you know podcast. And then again the author, your copyright, and the URL that you want to link it to. This is all important information and you only have to do this one time. So just uh, but make sure that you get this filled out so that everything can, uh, so that everything is visible on iTunes. If you are using explicit language or content, then you need to select that. You would also need to make sure you add some keywords in here. So you know, add add your keywords. Now you can also set select three categories on iTunes. So you want to make sure you select all of that. So maybe it's business, um, management, and marketing, and uh, let's see, whatever, shopping, and then you would save your changes. Now you need to have um, you need to add content. So the next thing you need to do is let's say you've recorded your audio. This isn't a tutorial about recording audio, but let's assume you already have an audio file, an MP3 file. So you need to upload that file. So since I'm not going to be uploading anything, I'm going to show you that uh, without doing it. But you would go to create new audio and you can either record your audio by phone, you can record your audio online if you have a microphone attached to your computer, or most of the time what you'll probably be doing is uploading an audio file. So you already have a file that you've recorded. You would select that file here, you would put in your title, a description, and then upload file. Now once that file is uploaded, it's going to show up here you'll see all your audio files. I have mine in folders. And then it's always helpful to organize your folders. But once you do, you'll see that your audios show up. So here's two, a couple from classes. And then you're going to assign an audio to your podcast. So you want to go back to your podcast, click on the podcast title, and you want to add a new post. So I would go here, click on that, and I would select the video or the audio file or the video file. You can select either one. And what you would do is you would select the audio. If your audio is hosted somewhere else, you can put that URL here, but I would have it hosted here on Audio Acrobat. You want to make sure that your post is visible. If you have another URL that you want to include, I always include a URL for my online visibility secrets um, or online visibility tips podcast. I put a link to online visibility secrets. So if anybody wants to get more information, they will um, get that information or they will be able to click through. Then you choose the time and date that you want to release it. 
And so this is important. Let's say you decide that you're going to have a podcast that is um, posts every uh, Friday. Then you would select Friday and then select the time that you want to um, select the time that you want to, it to post. Now you want to give your new podcast a title and you can put a subtitle if you want and here's an opportunity for you to put a more of a description of the actual episode. This is the episode not the whole program. So you select the title of the episode and the um, description and click Save Changes. And it's pretty straightforward. Oops, please enter this information. Which information? Oh, want some information. So now you have your first episode assigned to your podcast. Now in order to promote your podcast, you click on that tab and you can select one of these um, buttons to put on your website and when you select a button uh, let's say my podcast it's going to change this code right here you would just copy this and paste it into your pot in, paste it into your website or your blog and you click on publish if you want to add your podcast to iTunes on the publishing page there's instructions on how to submit your podcast this is the URL that you would would submit to podcast you have to go through their whole process it is free to submit your podcast and it usually takes a few days before they accept it so you can see it's really pretty simple to set this up it takes a few minutes to add the to set up the actual show and then the add it to upload new content, add it to the podcast, and you're good to go. Have fun.